What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Hawk Crypto Mining. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Dynex. We're going to take a dive into the project. There's a lot of talk about AI, proof useful work. What is the future of GPU mining? A lot of skeptics, a lot of criticism. We're going to cover it. But before we do, we have to have a word from our sponsor. We are explorers of the unknown. It's in our nature. Be it exploration or invention, we have envisioned, explored, and built what was never before known. Our journey has just begun. Whatever may be next, GPU Risers is here with you. GPURisers.com, built by miners for miners. Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed the ad. So let's talk about this for a second. Now, I think it's always great to ask questions about projects, right? We want to remain a little skeptical when projects first release and they have significant price discovery and all that stuff, right? We don't want members of our community, especially the YouTubers, we don't want members of our community to listen to something that we say and then it's a bad choice for them right so as a content creator i really try to focus on just giving you things that i see and show you what i'm doing try to let you formulate your own opinion i don't like to influence too much to be honest with you because i feel personally that that's not what we're here to do you know what I mean? We're here just to give the news kind of like reporters, right? Like, hey, this is a project. This is what they say they're doing. What do you guys think? Look, that's just my opinion. I'm all about asking questions, but we all got to remain respectful. We are a community. It's OK to criticize. I think constructive criticism is great for some of these projects. So let's all be open to the discussion. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the Dynex website. So on the front page, it says a global network of decentralized supercomputing, world's first neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain based on the Dynex Solve chip algorithm, a proof of useful work approach to solving real world problems. Hey, that one sentence there like grabs you. What great marketing, right? I mean, hey, if this is what they're really doing, this is going to be great for the GPU mining and crypto mining community in general, because we do have a lot of criticism from outsiders that don't believe that we're providing anything and we're just greedy people who mine and sell crypto on the exchanges for money. But honestly, we really, really should embrace more projects like this. I think it's super, super important. Okay, so I scroll down a little bit here. I do wanna read this passage on their website because this kind of gives you an all around understanding of what Dynex is and what they do. It says, with Dynex, proof of useful work miners participate on a decentralized network that is capable of performing tasks at an unprecedented speed and efficiency, even exceeding quantum computing in some cases. I would really want to know what those cases are, but this is not the question part. Let's keep reading. This is made possible with a proprietary neuromorphic superchip algorithm called Dynex Solve that utilizes the GPU and computing network to solve real world problems with endless use cases. All right, I'm interested. As a community and with collaborative effort, we can take the next step towards sustainability and efficiency. Transform your computer or your dormant GPU mining equipment into neuromorphic machines. Earn benefits, generate wealth. Let's solve problems together. Okay. All right, now you, you, you got my attention. You got my attention. So every time Dynex comes up in conversation, there's this word neuromorphic that seems to follow. Now, I have no idea what this word means, but I did find a passage and a little explanation on what it is in the section on their website that says neuromorphic versus quantum. It says neuromorphic computers do not face limitations of quantum machines. Operated on traditional hardware GPUs at room temperature, there is almost no limitation in number of bits being calculated. Problems with millions of variables and constraints can be computed efficiently on a neuromorphic annealer. I pronounce that right that's that's actually kind of interesting so there's no limitation to computational power basically is what they're saying that's the way i'm understanding it 
but there's limitations on quantum computers. I don't even think we've scratched the surface with quantum computers yet to even understand that. So I'm kind of questioning that a little bit, but I do want to dive in a little bit more in understanding it. So if you guys know more than me, let me know in the comment section below exactly what that means. A little more information here. So it says a fair start. There was no pre-mine, truly fair launch in September of 2022 with no ICO, no pre-mining and pre-allocation of coins to the team or investors. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, finite supply, 100 million Dynex, and they say they are sustainable. Now they said they have completed 3,330 finished jobs. Total rewards paid out to miners for computed jobs is 27,000 Dynex, which at the current price, it is sitting just under a dollar as of making this video. So right around 26, $27,000. That's pretty impressive. Okay, real quick, I do wanna go over what I am mining currently. This is my 6700 XT rig, currently mining Dynex. I'm getting on average four kilo hash at right around 83, 80 watts on the software. And it's actually really good. It looks like I do have a problem child GPU over here, but the efficiency is awesome on Dynex. Low power, shout out to Mr. Rondi, who actually tuned my rig for me. Let's go up here and look at these 6600s who are even doing better as far as efficiency is going in my opinion 6600 is getting 2.1 kilo hash on average at 29 software watts this one's at 26 so that seems to be really good looks like i got another problem child here 1.9 at 29 watts i guess i didn't hit the silicon lottery on that one but let me show you this pool that i'm currently mining on and i can show you exactly how much i've made so this is the pool that I am currently mining at. This is deepminerswithaz.com. And I really like this pool because other than having two community members, Mr. Yeti and Dminers who created this pool, you get something on this pool that I don't think you get on the rest of them. And you could actually go here and go to Dynex Jobs, the current ongoing job right now, rewards 100,000 Dynex. That is insane at the current price. That is just under $100,000. So let's go to my worker stats. We'll hit look up and here we go. So looking at my wallet right now, you guys can see that I've currently mined about 145 Dynex in eight days as I'm making this video. My average sits around 83 kilo hash, which is right around what Hive OS says. It's pretty accurate. Payouts have been great, no issues there. And also what's really cool about this pool is that it's already integrated into Hive OS. So you guys can just scroll down on the list, select it and go. Okay, so what do projects like Dynex mean for the future of GPU mining, right? And that's a lot of questions that we have. A lot of us have significant investments into GPUs, rigs, octo miners, all kinds of different server cases. And we've really like changed our lives around it. Some of us even have companies that do hosting. With that being said, it is important to understand what the future may be. Now, with all technology, things do move forward. That is the natural way of doing things. And honestly, I think we should embrace projects like Dynex and a few others that are claiming that they can do this. But it is important to ask the right questions. Constructive criticism is always welcomed by those who want success. It's something that we as a community should do respectfully and help these projects grow. Now, that is not to say that there are bad actors. There are bad actors everywhere. And hopefully we don't run into any more. But in this industry, as you guys know, they seem to be every now and again coming out of the woodworks and then a project disappears. That's the nature of our business, unfortunately. And it's something we have to live with. That's why it's important as a community that we stick together, vet these projects correctly. And again, ask the right questions. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I think Dynex is an amazing project. I think they're bringing a lot to the table. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the future if they meet all their promises. I guess the jury is still out on a lot of these projects right now, even though a lot of them are in their infancy. So good luck to Dynex and their team. I hope they are successful in what they are doing. I really do hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Dynex. I would love to hear your opinions hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Talk out.